Welcome back. Let us continue with the leaders and followers theory, then look into the role of personal attitude in successful leadership. Now, let us look into leaders and followers as a theory. Leaders and followers as a theory is a theory that talks about the relationship and how the leader and the subordinates interact with one another. So let us see what it says. Leaders lead by example and reward positive behavior. So a leader should lead by example. A leader should do the right things. And whatever that the leader talks about has to be seen and practiced by the leader first. That way that would influence a relationship to be follow the vision of the leader. But if the leader doesn't show those aspects, then it becomes difficult for followers to be inspired and motivated. Then, number two, followers listen. Now, this is the rule of the follower. Follower has, the followers have to listen to what is expected of them and they are willing to work as a team. So, this is what should happen and this is the relationship between the leader and the follower. So the leader will lead by example, but the follower is expected to listen to what is expected of them and they should be willing to work as a team because they would normally conduct teams and they would have a leader in there. And then followers easily accept the responsibility when something does not work out. So the follower as well has a responsibility in this relationship to make sure that they take accountability or responsibility when something doesn't go right. So that is also another aspect or another issue that the follower should know when they are part of a, a, a team. And then leaders motivate employees to devise alternative strategies in order to achieve the business goals. So when you're looking into leaders and followers theory, this is to say the leader would be expected to lead by example. The leader will be expected to motivate employees and devise alternative strategies. But what is expected of a follower? A follower should listen to what is expected and be willing to work as a team. A follower should take responsibility when something doesn't work out. Hence, we call it leaders and followers, which has to do with the relationship between the leader and the follower. Leaders motivate, they lead by example. Followers listen and they have to accept and work as a team. Then that is the relationship between the leader and the follower. Then when we look now into the role of personal attitude in successful leadership, what is the role there? The attitude is very key. This is the way in which the leader would approach things. This is the way in which they would solve problems and this is the way in which they would interact with stakeholders and their subordinates. Hence, we're talking about their role and their attitude in influencing the success because their attitude really, really does influence the success. Now, let us talk about it. The role of personal attitude is that positive attitude will release the leadership potential, meaning a positive attitude will lead to the leader being able to lead more and more people, and this will achieve the idea we talked about to say leaders are people orientated because they will be now positive and they will see their subordinates for every positive thing they do. And then another aspect is that a leader's, a leader's good attitude will influence the success of the business. Everyone would want to work for a leader that cares for them, a leader that knows that they are competent and a leader that motivates them and checks upon them. So that becomes key. That is the part of attitude. It will lead to the success of the business. And then a leader with a positive attitude knows that there's always more to learn. So this is a leader who's going to learn from their subordinates because their subordinates will bring different lines of thinking and they will bring different ways of solving problems. So they will always have more space and allow themselves to learn from their subordinates. Furthermore, good leaders will stay with the task regardless of the difficulties of that particular task. So that again has to do with the positive attitude to say a leader would be showing perseverance. They will stay with the task whether the task is difficult or not. 
And then another aspect would be great leaders would understand that the right attitude will set the right atmosphere within the workplace. And then another aspect is that the leader's attitude may influence employees' thoughts and behavior. So the issue of an attitude here becomes very, very vital in achieving the success the business needs. Then, so those are aspects that you should know if you are to become a leader one day to say your attitude will influence the success of the business, your positive attitude should allow you to learn more, no one should be treated as a subordinate only, you should also learn from your subordinates and then this is to say a good leader will stay with the task regardless of the difficulties which talks to perseverance, a good value for a leader. So. Those are aspects to be considered when you're looking into the role of personal attitude. So the personal attitude contributes to the success of the business. Remember, we looked into the three theories and also looked into the role of personal uh, attitude in successful leadership. So that was the core of our lesson. So with that being said, thank you for watching, hoping we contributed to your educational skills and abilities. So keep on watching.